Well, an inmate at the Inyo County Jail in Independence died Monday while in transit to a local hospital. Now, according to a press release from the Inyo County Sheriff's Office, Harold Wayne Butterbrett, a 48-year-old man, an inmate at the Inyo County Jail, passed away suddenly Monday morning. Now, Butterbrett requested to be seen by medical staff around 7.20 a.m. He was in the process of being transported to Southern Inyo Hospital in Lone Pine when he collapsed in the South Valley Port area outside of the jail facility, according to that press release. CPR was performed and every attempt to stabilize Butterbrett was maintained throughout the ambulance transport to Southern Inyo Hospital. Butterbrett was pronounced deceased at the hospital at approximately 8 a.m. Monday. An autopsy will be conducted this week to determine the cause of death. The press release notes that the Inyo County District Attorney's Office is conducting an investigation into that incident. And Inyo County District Attorney Tom Hardy issued a press release on Tuesday. Now, this was in response to a press release sent out by the Bishop Tribal Council earlier in the day. And this was regarding an incident on Christmas Eve involving Bishop Tribal Officer Daniel Johnson. Now, the Bishop Paiute Tribe stated its support for Johnson, saying his arrest occurred after he responded to a tribal member's call for protection in a disturbance by a non-Indian individual who was ordered by both the tribal and state courts to have no contact contact with the tribal member that Officer Johnson was acting under tribal authority and was carrying out his duties as a tribal police officer for the Bishop Paiute tribe at the time of the incident. Now that press release goes on to state, quote, it is unfortunate and regrettable that the Inyo County Sheriff's Office and District Attorney have taken the unprecedented actions against Officer Johnson and fails to recognize the inherent tribal sovereignty of the Bishop Paiute tribe, end quote. Now, Inyo D.A. Hardy responded that the charges are based on allegations that Mr. Johnson used unlawful force on the person of another and was the result of an investigation conducted by the Inyo County Sheriff's Department. Hardy also stated Mr. Johnson is, of course, presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Now, his press release states that pursuant to an act of Congress, state law enforcement authorities in the state of California are obligated to investigate and prosecute crimes alleged to have been committed on reservation lands in the state, including the Bishop Paiute Reservation. Again, that was from Inyo County DA Tom Hardy. Now, you can see more from both of these press releases on our website, sierrawave.net and Sierra Wave Media will have more on this story in future broadcasts. Well, an international fugitive pleaded guilty to rape charges on Tuesday and was sentenced to prison for the maximum penalty. A press release from Mono County District Attorney Tim Kendall says that on January 6, 2014, an investigator from the Mono County District Attorney's Office, assisted by the Sacramento branch of the FBI, traveled to Mexico City to transport a fugitive back to Mono County to face charges for repeatedly and forcibly raping a child while she was between the ages of 5 and 12. Now, on Tuesday, Jacinto Flores Zochimitl pled guilty to two counts of child rape of a child under 14. The defendant, according to the press release, entered into a negotiated disposition with the district attorney, whereby Zochimitl was sentenced to the maximum penalty of 30 years to life in state prison. Press release notes he will be approximately 87 years old before being eligible for a parole hearing. Zoch Middle was being housed in the Mono County Jail in Bridgeport since his return to the United States from Mexico under an extradition treaty. Zoch Middle admitted that from 1997 until 2004, he raped his former girlfriend's daughter multiple times when she was between the ages of 5 and 12. Now, the Mono County District Attorney has been working with the FBI, the U.S. Attorney General's Office, Department of Homeland Security, and Interpol over the last decade to locate and extradite Zoe Chimittal. At sentencing, Zoe Chimittal expressed remorse for his actions and hoped his victim would be able to forgive him someday. 
The press release states that the victim tearfully expressed the anger, hatred, and emotional damage that his actions have caused her. The victim finished her impact sta statement by telling Zoe Chimittle, quote, now it's your turn to rot in prison, end quote. Now, the press release also notes the number one priority of the Mono County District Attorney is the investigation and prosecution of those who commit acts of sexual, physical, or emotional abuse of children, saying people who prey on children are some of the most despicable individuals in society. It is because of, uh, because of the damage to victims that these crimes cause that the district attorney refused to negotiate Zoe Chimittle's case and forced him to accept the maximum punishment allowed under California law. Further, the press release notes these principles were paramount in the reason that Zoe Chimittle was so vigorously sought over a, for over a decade, even after fleeing the country. And again, that was from Mono County District Attorney Tim Kendall. There is a little more on this story on our website, SierraWave.net. And a 63-year-old Bishop man has been arrested on drug charges. According to the Inyo County Sheriff's Office, on Thursday, February 12th, agents with the Inyo Narcotics Enforcement Team, that's INET, along with assistance from the Inyo County Sheriff's Department, served a search warrant at a residence on Elm Street in Bishop. Now, at the residence, agents seized just over an ounce of methamphetamine, scales, evidence of drug sales, and drug paraphernalia. Now, the press release notes the primary suspect of the investigation was not present during the service of the search warrant, but was notified by agents via cell phone of the findings. The primary suspect identified as Russell Kent Graves, a six, age 63 of Bishop, turned himself in to agents later in the day. He was placed under arrest without further incident. Graves was booked at the Inyo County Jail in Independence on charges of possession of a controlled substance for sale and possession of drug paraphernalia. He was being held on bail pending arraignment. We'll be back with more news.